Hello guys, this is Keep Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. <sighs> An espresso for you as well. As for today's video, I bring you the new Adrenaline Drivers review, in this case the 22.8.1 and as I say in all my oh, videos, my videos. <laughs> 22 is the year, 2022, 8 is the month, August and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of August. These 22.8.1 drivers really bring some interesting things, they do not bring all good things, but they definitely bring some really, really interesting things, even more in terms of the fixed issues and known issues, and of course the support for Marvel Spider-Man. But let's go into the release notes right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. We're using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. And well, we're back and the first release notes is with the highlights. Support for Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, which is a very, very good game if you ask me, Thymesia and Radeon Boost using variable rate shading for Halo Infinite. Now a really interesting thing. Enhanced sync improvements have been introduced in the latest version of AMD software to provide further stability and a better overall experience with your AMD PC. Now remember the enhanced meme where we actually had that same enhanced sync known issue for over two years. It seems that uh, AMD actually improved the, the enhanced sync now and it will actually uh, be more stable and it will work better than ever. So this is a really good thing. Actually, some people have been telling me, have been telling me, sorry, uh, that these drivers, uh, they told me that the next drivers should have enhanced sync improvements and they were right. They are here. As for the fixed issues we have, display may flicker black when switching between video playback and gameplay windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT, so this is supposed to be fixed. Video output will freeze in Project Zomboid, so if you're playing Project Zombo Zomboid, <laughs> this is a very good thing, so no more freezes. Games based on love to the engine may be rendered incorrectly, now the render should be fine. Stormworks Build and Rescue crashes during startup. Mixed reality headsets may flicker black or experience jitter during movement with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. So if some people are using VR headsets with the 6800 XT or some other graphics and they're having problems with movement jitter uh, and maybe some crashes, some flickers, well, because I heard that before, I heard people telling me that before, it seems that AMD messed with the VR drivers uh, in this particular driver package, so you may want to check it out because it may be better than the previous ones, okay? Just check it out. And the last one is, enhanced sync may cause a system crash during gameplay with video playback on extended monitors. So finally, we have some enhanced sync improvements after two years. Crazy. Now, this isn't all unicorns and cotton candy, so let's go to the known issues. The first known issue is stuttering may be experienced while playing Call of Duty Warzone on the Caldera map with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics. It seems that on this particular map with the 6900 XT, the users that are actually buying these cards, um, somehow most of them are actually having stutters. I, I don't really understand. I, I actually tested the 6950 XT on the Caldera map and it was completely fine stutter free but, but once again in all my computers Call of Duty Warzone was always stutter free and some people just insist that they have stutters all the goddamn time I, I just don't understand how or why maybe they're missing something uh, but at least AMD acknowledged that on this particular um, graphics the 6900 XT it may be a stuttering issue due to driver problems okay on the other cards may not be the case but on the 6900 XT it is the next one is some stuttering may be experienced while playing Fortnite with DirectX 11 API when game is first launched on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6950 XT. Now, 
this issue um, of the um, of the stuttering that may be experienced on the X11 is past the May drivers, the May preview drivers, or past the 22.5.2 drivers, and this happens due to the shader cache load. Okay, the new drivers that, that are that have the X11 improvements, they actually have the shader cache loading like the newer APIs to improve the, the X11 performance and to reduce the CPU slash RAM bottleneck. Okay, that's how it works. But on the um, on the opposite side of getting more FPS, till your shader cache is loaded, well, you'll have more stutters. And now AMD is actually telling people that, well, you'll have stutters uh, on Fortnite at least on the first time you go into the game with the X11. And they are showing actually the 6950 XT because this card is so powerful um, that even at 1440p Ultra Wide or 4K, you still, you'll still have uh, a very good amount of FPS, so the shader cache loading will be, the shader cache stuttering, I mean, will be um, more noticeable than on lower FPS numbers, okay? That's it. Now, the next one is Radeon Super Resolution may fail to trigger after changing resolution or HDR settings on games such as Nio 2. The next one is while playing Lost Ark, flickering may be intermittently experienced after changing displaying settings or checking character info with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800 graphics. Well, I do have Lost Ark and I tested um, with a 6800 which is my main GPU and so far so good, but I believe that some people may have those issues, those flickering issues. For me, so far so good. The next one is Oculus Dashboard Menu and Rendered Controls may appear bouncing slash wobbly on Oculus Quest 2 with some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. So once again, AMD acknowledged that there are indeed some VR issues. And well, they fixed some VR issues on, on, on this driver version and it seems that they will fix more VR issues in the next driver version since these issues are now in the known issues and when they're acknowledged by AMD, they are prone to be fixed as soon as possible. The next one is VCE presets may be in mixing in Vegas Pro with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6600 graphics. So some problems with Vegas. Uh, if you don't want these problems, you may, be actually, you may actually want to try 22.6.1 or maybe 22.5.1, which are the recommended drivers. The next one is DaVinci Resolve Studio 17 may crash using AMD encoder on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT. The next one is GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing games on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 570. Once again, this is an issue uh, that has been happening for some driver versions but on the same time, they they just mentioned the Raiden the Raiden 570, which is not even the RX 570. It's another version on the Chinese market, I believe. Uh, so it isn't. Um, well, it seems that it isn't that that prone to happen. But in, it indeed may happen, and it is it is here for some driver versions. AMD should fix this ASAP, ASAP. And the final one is Enhanced Sync may cause a black screen to occur when enabled on some games and system configurations. Any users who may be experienced issues with Enhanced Sync, blah, 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 blah. Well, it is, it is still, still here. here. After all that Enhanced Sync shit that we've read before, it is still here uh, on the known issues. But I believe that it is way better now. So they are just keeping this here uh, in kind of... Um, protective status, let's call it that, uh, because most people won't have any issues with Enhanced Sync, okay? Uh, even more after the, the new updates on the Enhanced Sync engine, let's call it that, so yeah. And this is all for our release notes, all and not, and not few. So let's go to my experience. Well, this will be short because in my experience, I only have one issue with these drivers. And it was then when I was actually when I actually installed these drivers. Right after installing these drivers, the AMD software wouldn't just boot up. It wouldn't boot up. So I actually had to force 
um, to force the application to open. Basically, I just went to the search bar, AMD Adrenaline Edition, opened it, and it took some time, but it opened, okay? And after like in the first, in the first two or three times gaming, the, the drivers would just uh, close themselves, I don't really know why. But after that, strangely, it worked wonderfully. Strangely, very strangely, but after that it just closed two or three times, and after that even playing the Marvel Spider-Man, and after that it was completely fine, working flawlessly. No blue screens, no black screens, no crashes, no flickers, everything working fine as it should. But it had those issues when I first installed them, so... Yeah, I don't know why. And in terms of performance, well, we can see that Marvel Spider-Man got a performance boost going from the 22.7.1 to the 22.8.1, to, to which support the Marvel Spider-Man. At least in my RX 6800, we did have some improvements, both with ray tracing on and ray tracing off, okay? We did have improvements in terms of FPS. Also, in terms of the shader load caching, those same problems that we're talking about before in the, um, in the first time you go into the DX11 mode in Fortnite, well, um, the shader cache is issues seem to be way, way better than before. With the 22.6.1 and 22.7.1 drivers, when going into, for example, Days Gone, which uses Unreal Engine 4 and uses a really heavy shader cache loading, well, it seems that with these drivers, the stuttering is way, way less than with the previous ones, like the 22.6.1 and the 22.7.1. So the 22.8.1, at least with my 6800, has way less stuttering in the Unreal Engine 4 games and in the X11 games than the previous drivers may not be the case for you but well as always let me know in the comment section because I really want to know if this actually uh, improved your stuttering experience or if this actually improved your Marvel Spider-Man gaming experience and so on so on so on but yeah that's all for this video I guess thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video <laughs> and see you in the next one fuck this shit <laughs> Spider Cop spies his destination, a second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. Are you narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. Looks like Doc's gone for the night. Time to sneak in some spider work. My loyal listeners, brush heads, they call themselves, though i uh, never quite understood why, will remember my warnings about the downright Orwellian crime monitoring system the city was installing. Well, it's not operating. Why, you ask? Because someone came to their senses and realized they... Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Uh, just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out. <sighs> Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. <laughs>